right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You are welcome to my classroom. And my name is Femi Richward. Are you Lowo? This is Speedy Success Professional. We provide accountancy services, quality professional training, and leadership and financial management. Please, you are welcome to my video. I am taking consolidated financial statement, part three, and today I'll be looking at formats and adjustments in consolidation. You're watching my video for the first time, please click the subscribe button. Subscribe, it is free. Like and send your comments for any topic that you need for us to train or to show or to teach. Again, subscribe. I love you. Subscribe. If you need our services, please call 081-4842-1111. All right. And trying to look at consolidated financial statement, I have told us before that one of the things we must do for us to prepare consolidated financial statement is to ensure that we determine control and then the first adjustment what we're going to do is to do to determine a net asset or equity at acquisition and at consolidation. And that happened to us. This is the format. Post acquisition, acquisition, at consolidation. You need to look at the subsidiary that you're acquiring, the share capital subsidiary, the share premium, retain earnings, and all the reserves and the total will be net asset. How do you look at it? You are going to deduct the value at consolidation, sorry, the value at acquisition from the value at consolidation. And normally, the share capital will remain constant, the share premium will also remain constant. Sometimes, all the reserves will also remain constant. But where there's revaluations or adjustments, they will not remain constant. But return earnings is not expected to re remain constant because the business will have continued after acquisition. So the difference, between, the difference between retain earnings at consolidation and retain earnings at acquisition is going to show us post-acquisition post retain earnings. And that amount is needed where the acquisition is partly owned not 100 percent are we together all right now let's continue all right so we move to the second consolidated the second format it is consolidated retained earnings consolidated retained earnings and so how do we do you will bring all of the parents retained earnings all of the parents retained earnings and Parent shares of post acquisition retain earnings of the subsidiary. Total together, it will give you what we have as consolidated retain earnings. Let's move to the next one. The next format is goodwill. It's very important. How do we determine goodwill in a consolidated financial statement? The first item is to determine the consideration transferred, which I said the amount paid. Sometimes there's what we call contingency um, consideration. That amount shall be included. Add no controlling interest. It will show the value at, of the company as at the date of acquisition. Less the net asset acquired or value at acquisition date. When you deduct it, it will give you could we recognize based on the measurement requirement of IFRS 3? Remember, IFRS 3 is business combination. Let's move ahead. Let's continue with our format 4, which is no controlling interest at reporting date. No controlling interest is calculated as NCI at acquisition date. Let me, let me show you how I come the figure or how to determine 
NCR that could it. Okay, let's go look for it. Camera, let's roll up. Okay, now this is NCI at acquisition date. It is NCI percentage. NCI at acquisition date is percentage of the NCI. That is the percentage owned by the NCI multiplied by net asset at acquisition date. That figure will be given to you. So when you go to our first um, format, which is um, Let's show it. When you come to this format, uh, it is the determination of uh, net asset. You will take NCI, or uh, the value of the percentage of net asset that belongs uh, to NCI at this point, and that is the NCI at acquisition. So we come to our format four again. Format four, we continue. So we have NCI at acquisition date. Add NCI share of post acquisition retained earnings. INCI share of order post acquisition reserve of the subsidiary, and you will have what we call uh, NCI at consolidation. Can we continue? Please remember to subscribe. You love our videos, subscribe. I beg you, subscribe. When you subscribe, definitely you will enjoy more of the videos. We are Speedy Success Professional. My name is Femi Richward. God bless you. Let's fire on. We continue our adjustment and presentation. Now, having determined NCI value at uh, reporting date, how do we actually me measure NCI? Our forestry states uh, give us two methods. It is said one, NCI can be measured as a percentage of net asset of the subsidiary at the acquisition date. That's the first method I've shown to you, as you can see down. The second is NCI can be measured at fair value as at acquisition date. So what it means is that if NCI for a company is 10 million naira at the reporting or at acquisition date, and the company said no, the value we are able to generate in the next one year will be 100 million. Therefore. We're going to take half of it. We are going to make our NCI 55 million instead of 10 million naira. The IFRS require that where it is measured based on best standard, it, is, it will be acceptable. Are we together? So NCI can be measured at fair value or at acquisition um, date. Can we fire? Let's go to the next format. I'm going to show you um, format of uh, consolidated financial statement and I'll close and then the next video you will see the other adjustment thank you all right now having known all of those formats let's look at how to present our consolidated statement of financial position the first thing you do is the name of the company say SSP uh, consulting limited speedy success professional write the name of the account you are presenting or the statement you are presenting. Now listen very well. Look at this note. I said that candidates should put this parent and subsidiary working on a working sheet or page and note on this final presentation page. If you have seen any published financial statement, you will not see such a thing there. So what I choose to do is pick this format, the whole as it is, take it to a working page and then remove this uh, working center, the working part from this, and keep only the consolidated value on your final presentation. Do I make sense? Yes. So we have asset. What I tell my candidate to do is to put this format first before you will go and look at the actual figure. In good presentation, your format is, a very, is very important and your result could be adjusted for if there are error. In accountancy, error are part of the family. Adjustment is also part of the family. Am I making any sense? All right? Uh, that's accountancy joke there. If there is no accountancy error, there will be no accountants. Can we go ahead? Next, you have your PPE after asset, not correct asset. PPE means property, plant, and equipment. 
and then you have the total of the parent and subsidiary consolidated, where there are no adjustments. The same thing for current asset, where there are no adjustments, you total and add up. And you come to liabilities, share capital is the share capital of the parent, so there's no addition. Share premium is also the share premium of the parent, and all our reserve is of the parent. So what do we do next? We have total equity. NCI will be the value we calculated in format four. You can go back and look at format four. And then we have liabilities. Current liabilities, sorry, no current liabilities, where there are no adjustment is added together. Same thing with uh, current liabilities, where there are no adjustment is added, you have your total equity and liabilities. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my video, Family Richard, at Yolo, or Speedy Success Professional. Subscribe. Subscribe and God bless you. You want to call us for any assignment or engage us? Call 081-4842-1111. 081-4842-1111. You want to call it from outside Nigeria? Plus 234. Plus two three four zero eight one four eight four two eleven eleven. See you in my next video. God bless you. Thank you.